What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Caleb Smith. Caleb Smith's prediction of Canelo Plant and Canelo Alvarez, he states this. He says, I don't think Plant has the power to get Canelo's respect. And this is what he said. He said, it's a good fight. Plant's obviously a good fighter. He's a world champion. He's earned his right in this fight. But I don't know if he has the power to keep Canelo off. He's a good boxer, but he's not the biggest puncher. And I think to beat Canelo, you've got to have a bit of everything. You've got to be able to get his respect. And I don't think he's got the power to do that. It's a good fight, but I have Canelo as the winner. Let me counterpunch. Um, I think a lot of people uh, take power and overrate it with Canelo. I think the best people that will beat Canelo is pure, are pure boxers. And Caleb Plant is a good boxer. And I don't think you need the power like everyone thinks to beat him. I think he, you need to frustrate Canelo. If you can't frustrate him and you can't make him think, he will beat you because he will eventually figure you out. He has enough uh, upper body movement to get up under your punches being the shorter guy. I feel that he's one of those guys that he's been in there with enough guys like May Mayweather and Lara to know, well, hey, this is what I need to do. But those fighters will always give Canelo problems. So I give, I give Caleb Plant a chance to winning by upset by just simply outboxing him, not giving Canelo Al Alvarez the opportunity or the opportunities for those counters. Okay. Uh, I was telling a friend yesterday, if you try to trade with Canelo, you have to do it in a way where, yeah, you do need to get his respect, but I think to get his respect, you need to frustrate him, okay? Because if you're trying to do the toe-to-toe -to -toe thing, he's too good of a counterpuncher for that. Now, I know Caleb Plant and Canelo had a heated press conference, and I think that will draw in a, uh, a definite factor, Okay, I think because of that, uh, Caleb will probably try to fight him more than box him, which would probably be a mistake, and it may be his downfall. However, I don't think power is a major asset, but Caleb is right. You do have to have a little bit of everything, but it's not one of those things where it's a must because you remember Caleb himself had this power and this big, big uh, super middleweight champion and everybody thought that once he hit Canelo that's all but he, of course he needed more than that because Canelo made him look basic Canelo had a little bit of everything where he just had power and power wasn't enough he needed skill he needed elusiveness he needed a lot of things and I think Caleb Plant has those okay because you don't have to have this freakish power to beat Canelo you just have to know how to hit move hit and not get hit I think that's the main thing, you know, and then you but you do have to show him like, hey, I'm in this fight, not just move, move, move. You have to stick and move. OK, you have to still score and move on Canelo and not allow Canelo to steal the show with the oohs and the ahs because that affects the judges. And we know about the judges with Canelo. He's been in a lot of close fights, but Canelo Alvarez, he breaks bones when he hits as Caleb Smith. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Caleb Smith's uh, predictions. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.